As businesses close across the country and the economy falters from coronavirus, not everyone is feeling the pain. For some, it's meant a business boom. Empty streets and shuttered shops are expected to send unemployment numbers spiking. The unemployment rate could easily rise to several percentage points uh, from the recent uh, low of 3.5%. How far? I would need to touch 10% to match the levels of the Great Recession. It's not out of the realm of possibility that we touch on that number and then go uh, solidly above it. Yet some are hiring. Anyone who's providing consumers with what they want or need during this critical time, they are the would-be beneficiaries of this experience. Grocery store giant Kroger says it's already brought on 2,000 people in recent weeks and has more than 10,000 openings as it tries to keep shelves full. The pharmacy chain CVS is looking for 50,000 people and giving bonuses to employees having to still work in stores during the pandemic. Amazon, owned by Jeff Bezos, who also owns the Washington Post, says it needs 100,000 more workers, adding to the almost 800,000 it already has. Even the maker of Campbell's Soup says in recent weeks, consumption is up 60 percent. Video conferencing, food delivery, and the pizza guy. Some of the services where demand is rising as people stay in and work from home. And journalists do interviews this way now, instead of face-to-face. But even industries ramping up may have problems. As I see uh, companies announce that they want to add 10, 20, 30, 50, 100,000 workers, uh, that's going to be a challenge for them because, number one, uh, not all those workers are going to be located where and when they need them. People need toilet paper, and your local shelves may no longer have it. But the paper products industry says it's making the stuff as fast as it can. It just may take the supply chain, the trucks, the warehouses, longer to reach stores. The trucking industry says it still needs drivers. A driver shortage could put kinks in that supply chain. Even people making everyone feel a little safer need help. Gojo Industries, which makes Purell hand sanitizer, says it's upping production and needs more hands.